All right, here we are in Gold Canyon, Arizona on a warm afternoon looking at a really nice 56 Chevy Bel Air two-door hardtop, lightly updated resto mod, 265 V8 that's been dressed up. It has a four barrel. It's got a, a Gearstar level two uh, turbo 350 transmission in it, factory rear differential. When you see under the hood, you gotta hang around for this one. The undercarriage of this car is just gorgeous. Um, very nice body off restoration. The door gaps are right. Everything shuts right. But we'll do a little walk around here. Um, nice little warm day. It's probably about 110, maybe 111. But as we go around here, the body is just beautiful. Whistle, whistle straight. It's, the color is called Tropical Turquoise. It is the original color of the car. The interior is also done in the original uh, materials, so it does match the data tag on the car. You're going to see a lot of different light here because uh, we're in the sun. We'll come back around to this side and open the door in just a minute, but the door gaps are just very nice. All the stainless is gorgeous. The chrome is beautiful. If you've been looking for a nice 56 that you can cruise around in, original V8 car, this would be the girl right here. Mikey likes it. Anyway, we'll keep cruising around here. Kind of gives you a different idea of the color on the nose there. The bright work is just very, very, very nice. Nice little bumperettes on the front. Nothing shaved, nothing messed with. Just just the way you should do it. Look at the hood gaps. The hood just lays down, so does the trunk. We'll show you that in the video. We will video the engine compartment here in just a moment. Our typical videos start with a walk around. You are on Spud's Garage YouTube. Of course, you're going to be able to see this car on Spud's Garage uh, eBay and possibly Spud's Garage, uh, uh, well, definitely Spud's Garage YouTube because that's where you are, but spudsgarage.com. Shot two cars this afternoon. A little warm, so I may not have all my wits about me. But I have my wits enough to know this is nice. There's a disc brakes. It has power disc brakes on the front. Just all the way around. I'm trying to go as slow as I can so you get a good feel. I know there's some light reflections here. But yeah, look at the look at the straightness of those panels right there. Just whistle straight. It's nice and clean. Mr. Clean lives in this baby. Door jam to door jam. There will definitely be no disappointments with this car. If you watch my video, you'll be even more excited when you get it. A little bit of a breeze going. I hope it doesn't mess up with my video, but you see the dome lights on because I opened the door. Lift the seat back, take a look there. Again, factory materials, factory codes. Get around on this side here. I'm going to show you the glove box. It's got secret audio. So it's got a stacker in the back. It shuts very nicely. nice. Hey Dave, could you grab my camera bag over there? Yeah. Sprinklers came on over there so we have a slight interruption. Again, look how beautiful that is. Hope the sprinklers don't come on here.
we're gonna have a trunk video here for you in just a moment as we cruise around here but we're just gonna keep going around hoping we aren't gonna catch some sprinkler time The stance is just perfect on this car. He's got it just right. Whew. Usually I can point out something. You'll probably be able to flaw, find a flaw somewhere, but I haven't seen one yet. No car is perfect, but uh, this one's pretty nice. All right, let's get inside here, and we'll keep going and show you how nice this car is. It is the factory-style threads in it. It's beautiful. It's nothing like the original style. Too many of these cars are overdone. This one's just, just right. Just late night light mods change the look easily if you like dome lights on just like I mentioned earlier door jam to door jam take a peek at that there's the VIN Victor Charlie 56 Kevin 00157 early production kind of neat 001597-1597 under dash gauges beautiful carpet he takes care of it like the rest of the car wait till you see the trunk video sitting here gives you a pretty nice idea on the color of it in the shade and in the light big kick panel speakers there Secret audio controls right there, CD stacker in the trunk. We'll have a picture of the trunk, we'll point that out to you. This radio is obviously not operational. We don't know if it does or not. There's the uh, uh, under dash gauges. It does have vintage air conditioning in it, which is a very nice touch. Big aluminum radiator, doesn't overheat, no issues. You're gonna see the engine compartment video here in just a few. He says it just starts right up. Don't touch the gas. Just like he said. Vintage air does work. And it's cool, cold right away, and it's hot out here. You can feel it. Shut that off. Those are the miles since it was restored, 2,399 miles. We'll get out and let you hear it. It's nice and mellow. Not going to wake up the neighborhood. Just sounds great. We're thinking you get the idea. Hang on to the end of the video here. Definitely go to spudsgarage.com. You're on Spuds Garage YouTube. And when you're, you might even see it on Spuds Garage eBay if it makes it there. Thanks hey, for just visiting. like I promised, we'll get you underneath the hood here. Wow. Very nice and tidy. It's a 265 V8 with some dress on it and uh, a few added items, Corvette style valve covers on it that have been chrome plated. Just very, very, very tidy. I'll go slow so it doesn't get blurry on you. Updated power brake booster. It's like an MSD distributor or a billet distributor with uh, electronic ignition in it. Chrome coil, MSD wires. Edelbrock uh, intake manifold, DuraShine, DuraShine Edelbrock carburetor. Just take a really good look at the brake lines, how they were run. It's very nice. They're all polished. This radiator, the client says that uh, even in this hot weather, we're at 110 degrees today, right now. 
He can drive it almost all the way to cruise night before the fans ever decide they're going to kick on. Um, runs cool as a cucumber. It's got a huge Griffin polished aluminum radiator in it. So if you want a car you can do to cruise night, open up the hood. Teapot style uh, air filter on it. It's just gorgeous. Cute little car. Got plenty of pep, even though it's a 265 V8. So pre 283 heater control valve and of course you're seeing a polished AC compressor there you already, we already covered that in the car those that's the data tag those are the uh, uh, the body color which is a tropical turquoise look at the hardware I just thought I'd go off track there but we're thinking you get the idea there's plenty more video for you to review here, undercarriage, so on and so forth. Definitely when you're done, you want to go to spudsgarage.com. You're on Spuds Garage YouTube. We really appreciate you taking the time to look at it. Thanks for visiting. Okay, he's turning around for me so I can shoot the other side of the car. Sure, go ahead. Give you an idea of the color, sound. All right, we'll take a look at the trunk here. Man, the trunk's just like the rest of this car. Mr. Clean lives here. A little windy if you can't hear me. Um, the level of detail on this 56 is just unbelievable. This owner really takes care of his car. Complete and thorough body off restoration. Probably mentioned that in some of the other videos, so I'll chill a little bit. Secret audio, it's got a uh, custom auto sound CD stacker in the trunk. Full size spare. But the floor pans in this car are just like the rest of the car inside here it's just beautiful original style mat typically with these cars you'll see uh, the trunks are hard to adjust on them but you'll see they'll be chipped in the corner and stuff this one doesn't have a mark they've got the bumpers where they're supposed to be there's you know in this well back here where I'm talking about here is a is a known rust spot there's nothing there I'm thinking you get the idea. You're definitely uh, at Spuds Garage YouTube. There's going to be more video here. So hang on for undercarriage and so on and so forth. No disappointments if you're looking for a nice car here. As we finished up the trunk video here, I shut the trunk and I just had to come back to do this. I'm going to shut the trunk, bring it down about a foot here. Boom. So that tells you how the fit is. I'll give you a little bonus piece of video where the car's sitting in the shade um, for you to get a better idea of what the color's like and how really straight this car is. Of course, this is going to be just kind of a quick little walk around. We'll add it somewhere in the video. The gaps on the hood are beautiful. I'm sweating. I never stop. I like clicking away with the camera. I talked about all the chrome when I walked around the car before. I'm going to do a little quick little shut here for you. Watch this. Door shuts perfectly. I think I missed the tire size. Those are 245-40 ZR20s in the rear. They were out of sequence when I was photographing the video before. You can see this car sitting in your driveway. We'll probably just put this in just before you get to the undercarriage video. Just wanted to have a quick little exterior walk around so you get a feel. Absolutely. Too much fun. 
Thanks for visiting. It might be a long video, but right, if you're looking for one, take a look at the undercarriage. Wait till you see the underside of this car. Very nicely done restoration, stock style, which makes it nice. Has front disc brakes on it. Otherwise, you're looking at stock suspension. Great looking Budnick wheels. Fronts are 225 45 ZR18s. But just we get over here. The owner's very proud of this car, and he should be. This is a very nice little 56 if you're looking for a nice car. Look at those floor pans. Catch a reflection on the side of the car there. Looking a factory GM V8 rear differential. It's a V car, which means it's a factory V8 car. Look at the floor pans. The rear tires, see if I can catch them on this side. I may not be able to, they're up in the wheel well. Again, the Budnick wheels. I'll get the tire side on the other side, tire size on the other side. So if you wanted the stock look, you could put stock wheels on this car easily. Don't know that I would. The wheels give it a nice custom look, but you could easily go with stock wheels and go for more of the resto mod look, which is what it is anyway. Beautiful. Car's got about 2,300 miles on the restoration and the drive. Four pins there. Stock leaf spring mounts. Go back and see if I can get that back tire size for you, and we'll wrap this up. Well, it's up in the wheel well, too. I'll get that for you in another portion of the video. Thanks for watching. Go to spudsgarage.com for more photos.